This is more about living in the time of the coronavirus epidemic. Inauguration Day, what they call the transition. In this case, it's a complete change, a radical shift. The news is what the media says is news. Therein lies the power of the media. They set the table. They like blood, love, drama. They like a good story. Stories have characters, plot, and an unknown ending. So the media heats up when that element of suspense and mystery is involved. Finally, because they have to compete directly with entertainment, they want the news to be exciting. The trumpet did make a slew of last minute pardons from his pals to a rapper, and he did make a speech, not conceding, praising his achievements, saying that he would return, quote, in some form, unquote. So, if he can find a way to stop being the tar baby, maybe he will return as the shadow. The PM intends to eradicate every one of his policies, if he can, and he can, with the dummy craps in charge as of today. Today is a tremendous sweeping victory for the PM and the dummy craps. They may not be in D.C., but they will celebrate, make noise, and blow on the trumpet. Heard this on D.C. at the inauguration. Snipers on the rooftops and drones in the air. In his speech, the PM repeatedly called for unity, said he would represent all of the people whether they voted for him or not. Of course, that is impossible. He's just bloviating. That unity will end just as soon as he starts ripping off executive orders that reverse or eliminate the trumpet's policies. Speaking of the trumpet, one news source said that today a stench has been removed from the White House. In the name of unity, I would guess. One last time, in the wake of his leaving, let me say that the trumpet was not a politician. That was what I liked the most about him. His personality was tough to take. He was a bully, an antagonist, and an obnoxious boor. A sexual pig with very little human decency in him. He also had no sense of proportion when it came to his power. His only tactic was to blow and blow and blow. It worked for him many times, and then it backfired, and he blew himself up. People who supported him can't say, too bad, or... If only, or he was right, they stole that election. His end was inevitable. What I like least about it is that the swamp wins. All the swamp denizens are richly rewarded, and I think that spells trouble for the country. We'll see. At least we'll be united. Lest we forget about the virus, and how can we, since the virus never forgets about us, my county is purple. Yes, the field mouse has been busy with his crayon set, and we are purple. The county health guy blames this on a surge caused by compromising behavior during the holiday season. He hopes that in two weeks this may pass and we will drop back into the red. Red is a condition of full alert, a state of emergency. 
Purple means... Okay, I don't know what purple means, but it's worse than red. And the health guy is hoping we can get back to red. Full alert. That would be good if we can do it. Over 10,000 people in my state have died from the coronavirus in the past year. That's what we're being told. In his speech today, the PM asked for a moment of silence for all the Americans who have died in the epidemic, nearly half a million now. In his towering absence, people are wondering what the trumpet will do now. Get a show on some media platform and snipe away at the new administration? Testify in the impeachment hearings? Form a third party, and maybe not win, but at the very least, gut the bastards in the Republican Party who bailed on him after the rampage, starting with the turtle? People think he is just too egotistical to simply fade away. As he said, and was it a promise or a threat, he will be back in some form. Maybe, like the virus, he will mutate into a new variant. Wow! Trumpet 21.